Yes, Mataji, very well. Riyansh, you can start. Riyansh, can you hear us? Mataji, text 13 and 14. Advaita Sarva Bhutanam. Maitra Karana Eva Cha. Nirma Manira Hankara. Amadukha Sakakshami. Santushta Sata Kamyagi. Translation, one who is not envious, but is a kind friend to all living entities, who does not seek himself a proprietor and is free from false ego, who is equal in both happiness and distress, who is tolerant, always satisfied, self-controlled, and engaged in devotional service with determination, his mind and intelligence fixed on me. Such a devotee of mine is very dear to me. Yes, he whom no one is put into difficulty and who is not disturbed by anyone who is equipoised in happiness and distress, fear and anxiety is very dear to me. My devotee is not dependent on the ordinary course of activities. With pure expert, without care, free from all pain, and not striving for some result is very dear to me. One who neither rejoices nor grieves, who neither laments nor desires, and who renounces both auspicious and inauspicious things, such a devotee is very dear to me. Oh, 
Riyash, I think you're reading the wrong word. Oh, God. Text 18. Sathya, you read. Samal Chitra Chamitrecha Tarama Navamani Chito Stasakalakisha Sama Samba Iva Chita Tulian in the Stitamani Tantish Toyena Kinacha Manikata Saramati Bakhtumani Priyonara Translation One who is equal to friends and enemies who is equipoise in honor and dishonor, heat and cold, happiness and distress, fame and infamy, who is always free from contaminating association, always silent and satisfied with anything who does not care for any residence, who is fixed in knowledge and who is engaged in devotional service. Such a person is very dear to me. Riyanch, uh, you can read this verse. It took a man to the minimum. It took them for your brass again. Said Dadana and Burma. But does the come every year? Those who follow the imperishable paths of devotional service and who completely engage themselves with faith, making me the supreme goal of very, very dear to me. Thank you. So this is the end of chapter Bhakti Yoga, which is just the beginning. We have so many instructions in there. A summary of verses 13 to 20. As one embarks on the spiritual journey, devotees begin to develop saintly qualities. Krishna concludes the chapter by elucidating the disposition of perfected devotees. So the following qualities make one dear to Krishna. Non-enviousness, kindness, Freedom from false ego, quality in happiness and distress, satisfaction, placing no one in difficulty, free from anxiety, independence from ordinary forces and activity, purity, expertise, freedom from lamentation, grasping or neither pleasure may be, equality with both friends and enemies. Equipoise in honor and dishonor, heat and cold, freedom from condemnation, violence, establishment in knowledge and satisfaction. So we can categorize the qualities in four different parts. Attitude towards one's self, dealings with others, reactions with challenging situations when they arise, and dealings with the Lord. The devotees endowed with such endearing character traits conquer the heart of Krishna, who becomes bound by their spotless devotion. Such are the beings living the transcendental realm, where even the unconquerable supreme controller becomes a cap becomes a captive of love. Lesson fifty one. So in four out of these eight verses, Krishna mentions that the devotee who is dear to him is equal in both happiness and distress. This is the world mainly of distress. So what is the thought process of devotee in distress? So very difficult at times we have distress and how to overcome or remain unaffected by any sort of distress. But try to bear in mind all these qualities and at least try to get a little bit of these qualities and try to increase it during this 
like we have yeah very difficult at times i was sharing one thing i was driving and i was really not uh, in good mood <laughs> with drivers with car parking everywhere but when i read this i said oh what i've been doing it's so easy that we would just get uh, got control of our emotions anger or whatever so yeah it's a time difficult yeah mm -hmm. any comments mm -hmm. yeah thank you for sharing that. He, he has so many times he mentions the what endears him is uh, when one is um, cool, one is uh, fixed or steady, whether in happiness or distress. So it's interesting how he emphasizes emphasizes that at least four times uh, in the verses that he, he yeah that's right four in, in four different verses. Mm. So it shows how important this is. Uh, and as you said, it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. Unless one is detached or uh, and attached to Krishna, it's very, very hard to uh, become equipoised, whether it's a favorable situation or unfavorable situation. Either way, we're not affected. We're just serving the Lord. It's up to him. He, if he wants to make it unfavorable, what can we do? We just carry on. <laughs> so, um, like Prabhupada, Prabhupada mastered it. He went to the States, he left his beloved Vrindavan, and in the States he knew nobody, but he took the risk to serve the Lord. And they were very unfavorable situations, but it never, um, it never discouraged him he never discouraged him he was never phased by any any uh, negative circumstances this is a devotee and krishna of course gave him the whole world um <laughs> which is amazing 70 year old man <laughs> extraordinary so um uh, Nani Ben, anything you'd like to share? And no, very good. I mean, it's a very good chapter as such, the whole chapter, mm -hmm. and uh, how to serve him. But I'm driving at the moment, so I'm just have to concentrate. Prabhuji? Yeah, yeah. No worries. Thank oh. you for joining. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Any questions or comments? Uh, otherwise, we can move to the next bit. Prabhuji, that's the end. Sorry? That's the end of the chapter. Really? That was, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, 20, 20, 20 verses. 20 verses. Yeah, you're right. Cranky. Um, yeah, one of the most amazing chapters. Um, yeah. Because Krishna in this chapter describes um, so many things, uh, but in, in brief. But Arjun asks him the question, what is better to serve, his impersonal or personal? So he makes it very clear, his personal form. And then Krishna, is, as you discussed yesterday, has so much flexibility in how much we can serve him. And then today, uh, all these wonderful points, how, what pleases him, what's, uh, we call these eight verses Bhakta Astakam, Krishna's glorification of his devotees. So very, very nice um, chapter. Anything else you'd like to share, Karuna? Well, there's so many things that we can discuss in there. Um, mm. Just take one quality here, equality with both friends and enemies. Mm. It's so difficult also to, to try to do it in this material world. Uh, in fact, we don't want to see the face of our enemies. <laughs> better be with our friends. Mm. Equality with both friends and enemies. It should be equal with both of them. Mm. So, very difficult to do, but you have to try. Mm. Nowadays, I'm 
I'm complaining about the cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, they keep always in honor and dishonor, heat and cold. Mm -hmm. I think, Prabhuji, mm. equiposed in all situations and be a stita pragna. Mm. Just always think about Krishna, as you told me, as you told just some minutes ago, that whatever Krishna does, whatever circumstances, we have to accept it. There's no way out. Mm. And I think that is the only way out of this miserable material world. Mm. Mm. Makes sense. It, it makes sense, but it is, it's hard work. I think <laughs> it's with the practice and detachment that yes. we can vairagya, that we can reach that. Excellent. Yes, very good point. Yes. And, and the more we get hardship, I think the more we can mold ourselves to that effect. Mm. Yeah. The key is um, detachment. To the key to detachment is attachment to Krishna. Uh, yeah. because, um, detachment on its own um, is quite hard. But if you're attached to Krishna, then you can easily become detached from uh, material things. So Because he also gives that. You know, you feel that, you fill the vacuum. Because you, you're going to be attached to something. Yes, yeah, human nature. That's the nature of the soul, in fact. It's going to be attached to something. So if it's not attached to Krishna, then it's going to be attached to something other than Krishna. So and also are... we have to think of Krishna as a person. Which yes. is true, you said, said that yeah, Krishna is there and there and there. But mm. we have to physically treat him as a person, as a friend. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, absolutely. And this is what he's saying in this chapter that worship me, uh, uh, worship my personality, worship me as a person. Yeah. Very nice points, uh, Nanima. I think you might have just cut off. Oh, uh, yeah. I think we can't hear her anymore. Uh, Shyam Malini, are you okay with uh, the topics that we've discussed in this chapter? Yes, Prabhu, yes. Um, like some of the things are very difficult to practice, right? Mm. To be equal to friends and enemies. <laughs> but yes. Uh, but I think if so we, we understand. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. But if we understand that. Uh, Nobody really can be our enemy. Uh, yes, we may not get on with everybody very well. That's fine, because we're all persons, personalities. But if we understand that, um, no, we shouldn't have any really negative feelings towards anybody. No need for that. No need for that. We may... You know, get upset with some people sometimes. That's that's again part of life. You know, <laughs> but it doesn't mean we hate them. It doesn't mean that we constantly thinking of them. Yeah, sometimes we may have a tiff with somebody. So be it. You know, but we can't let that linger. We have the tiff. It's over and done with, and we move on. You know, uh, we don't uh, hold any grudges. I think if we hold a grudge. If we hold some negative feelings to others, um, that can destroy us. That can destroy us because, you know, especially if the negative feeling is towards devotees. So, but even non devotees shouldn't have any negative feelings. You know, if something happens to us, we can take it as payback. You know, something, you know, we've, we've had to. Endure, endure this for whatever reason. And we, you know, for example, if somebody's, you know, um, cheated us, taken money away from us, well, perhaps in the past we owed them money. And this is Krishna's way of repaying that debt. Um, we perhaps wouldn't repay the debt, but Krishna has decided now you need to repay this debt. <laughs> Fine, it's repaid. Let's move on. 
Anyway. Yeah, that's also true. But yeah. <laughs> it is, of course, it's no doubt it's difficult, but how else are we going to deal with it? You know, are we going to be angry? And you know, how long are we going to be angry? And who are we going to be angry at? That anger is going to hurt who? Right? It's going to hurt us. Uh, so what's the point? What's the point of being angry? So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough in the material world, I suppose, yeah. It doesn't mean we, we worship everybody, we get on with everybody. No, there will be situations. We may not get on with somebody. That's fine. That's fine. But we don't hold a grudge. We don't hate that person. We don't hold negativity towards that person. We just, okay, you know, uh, I pay my pronouns to you, but, you know, my association is elsewhere. That's fine. There's no harm in that. Yeah. Prabhu, also, I wanted to ask you, you know, when it says we, uh, when we meditate, when we chant, so we think of the deities, that we try to visualize the deity in our mind. That way we meditate on the personal form. That's what I normally do. Is that the correct way? It's okay. It's good. It's good. Um, especially if you're standing in front of the deities. Um, and within your mind thing is the mind should be focused on the holy names but if you've got the form in front of you you've got a picture in front of you that's fine but when we start using the mind to start imagining things it becomes a little bit we have a gray area um the chanting ideally is just focus on the holy names you know you don't sometimes yeah you want to look at a picture just to just to refocus your attention that's fine but yes of that i don't know yeah. for me it's easier otherwise the mind get distracted and you go right. from where right 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 yeah that's good that's good you you see the weakness you're addressing the weakness it's good it's really good Nothing like that at all. It's very, very good. Because you see the way, you see the problem, you see the issue is mind wandering, and you're addressing it by focusing on the deity of the Lord. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Karuna, anything you'd like to share on those points? Um, yeah, we, we are talking about detachment from uh, different uh, material things, but we have to get attached to the Lord. So the service to the deities that the Lord has given us this immense opportunity and Shila Prabhupada has trained us to do deity worship. So well, I think that, that when we more we become attached and more we engage our mind and we have activities around the deities, so we become attached to at least the deities, but you know, we think about the personal form of the Lord and become attached to him. So mm. this help in the in devotional service in the path of bhakti. So mm. deity service is wonderful. It brings us more close to, to the Lord. Mm. Very true, very true. Very true, yeah. And any service, any service um, connected to the Lord, uh, any attachment to that service is undoubtedly going to assist uh, assist our connection with the Lord. So, yeah, and daily service is uh, like direct service. But it's somebody who's cleaning the loos and toilets, and if they're attached to that service, <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Of course, one shouldn't be attached to the, the lose too much, but um, it's a service. It's a service, you know. They 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 serve. Oh, crazy guys. Um, so the idea is uh, just uh, you know having some attachment to the Lord through service. Service is good. 
It's really good. And one can serve to one's, you know, according to one's capacity. This is the beauty, you know, Krishna, he, he, you know, there's no limit to how we can serve him. Of course, under the guidance of the guru and the devotees. Um, but if the guru is expert, if the devotees are expert, they will engage one in the service that one is particularly good at. And being good at that service means they're going to offer their best to Krishna. So the job of the guru and the devotees is what is the service that this devotee can do to, for Krishna, which will inspire him to do more and more and will please the Lord. That one, if you have a service where you know, you're using your material talents for spiritual purposes, then you'll be happy because you're doing something you like to do. The Lord will be happy because you're doing it with uh, love. You're doing it in a nice mood. If we got a service which we hate doing, because we've been given that service, it's not that we don't do it, we do it because, you know, it may not be from our heart, it may be from our humility, uh, which is good as well. Um, but always better to be engaged in, in, uh, in a service where we are, you know, we, we do, we offer our very best. What do you think, Karuna? Yeah, so it shouldn't become like a routine also and we are not mm. absorbed in anything. But the mm -hmm. service, devotional service is more, is done too, so that we, we are more absorbed in in serving the Lord, in remembering Him and mm. becoming attached to Him. Yeah, good one. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it's just a routine, isn't it? Just going through the motions. Just, ah, uh, oh, I have to do this service. Let me just get it over and done with. And I'm gone after that. You know, I, <laughs> I can have Prashad and, you know, go to sleep. Enjoy Prashad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I wake up in the morning. Oh, man, I have to do the same old, same old. Yeah. Yeah. It can happen, of course. Um, but. Hmm. Good. Okay, so I think, yeah, let's, let's call it a day. Okay, Srimad Bhagavad Gita ki jai, Chapter 12 ki jai, 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 Jai. Well done, very good.